Well, this is it. Our finalists are the amazing Kaiba and the undefeated Yugi. I thought I made a face into Yugi. My Millennium Rod is the final item. But the Rod whispers to me that I must defeat you. Yugi, prepare to lose. What's up, everybody? Welcome to part 6 of the Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories Let's Play, where we are in the final round of the Town of Domino tournament, where we are facing off with Seto Kaiba himself. And I have to say, I absolutely love the track that is playing right now in this duel. One of my favorites in the whole entire game. But, it goes without saying, the entire track in this entire game is incredible. One thing that they got pinned on point blank is the music. The music is so upbeat, so awesome, fits the mood perfectly. I mean, this really feels like a final battle, doesn't it, in the tournament? This music is so epic, and seriously, it should be in montages everywhere. <laughs> yes, montages. And Kaiba isn't e the easiest guy in the game. He has... He has some serious magic cards. I believe he has Swords of Revealing Light. He just used the Crush card. The Crush card destroys every face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field. Crazy card. But I think he's a little bit outmatched because we have the Twin Eye Thunder Dragon combo and we have the Mega Morphs and Bright Castles. And I didn't explain what Bright Castle does. Bright Castle increases the attack and defense of any monster by 500. Any monster. No restrictions at all. So I really like that card. And, you know, I could have finished him off this round, and I was surprised. Kaiba's best card is, of course, it's kind of obvious, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Actually, no, that's not obvious. Anyway, that's we're getting too ahead of ourselves right now. His best card is the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and I was prolonging this game. I was, I was making this longer than it had to be. I wanted him to play the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I wanted to show it off, but he just kept playing the stupidest cards. S -s like... Aquamodor? Seriously? Man, I was just so pissed off when I was recording this. I was like, I really wanted to show off Blue Eyes. I really thought I was going to get a challenge, but I think I made my deck a bit too strong. Maybe I should have grind. I actually think I should have grinded less now that I think about it. Because, man, this was a walk in the park. I really wanted Blue Eyes White Dragon to be on the field, and I really wanted it to be a challenge, but eh, what are you going to do? Well, at least you can. We'll show off what my deck is really all about, you can see three Twin Eye of Thunder Dragons. It really isn't fair. I, I think I end up playing five Twin Eye of Thunder Dragons all on the same at the same time, and that's when I finish them off. Really rather funny. But one thing I want to talk about real quick is one thing that just occurred in the game, and that is that Kaiba has the Millennium Rod. How does he have the Millennium Rod? Where did he get it? Why does he have it? It makes no sense whatsoever. In the animated series, the Millennium Rod was never in Kaiba's possession. For that matter, Kaiba didn't have a Millennium item ever. And the only one who had the Millennium Rod was Merrick, or the evil side of Merrick, rather. And he is the one that wanted to rule the world with the Egyptian God cards. So that's the only time that the Millennium Rod is in the animated series. and. I, I guess the only way that they could have made Kaiba the final boss was to give, or at least the final boss in, in the tournament was to give him the rod, but it doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't really like it, but whatever. This cannot be me defeated. <sighs> what the light so bright? My Millennium Item, drawn into... into a card? I now have all the cards with the Millennium Items. Was Yugi talking to himself there? Psycho. Damien. Is this what you wanted? Well, no, actually. I wanted boats and hoes, but whatever.
made it back. This looks like the ruins of a temple. There's nobody here. Alright, so we're finally back into Egypt, and we are finally now controlling Prince Damien, or Prince Me, for that matter. <laughs> and we're going to go into a new area that we couldn't go before, and that is the King's Valley. Who is that? None may enter the Valley of the Kings. Leave! <gasps> my, my prince, you're alive! I am sudden. For generations my family has guarded this valley. Please rest assured that I've kept Hei Shin out of this valley, my prince. I'm sorry about what happened to the pharaoh and the queen. The vile ones have taken over this land. But now, now that you're alive, there is hope once again for everybody. The remains of the pharaoh and the queen are not here. I'm sorry to say that Hei Shin wouldn't allow it. Is there anything else you want? The Forbidden Ruins. Simon Muron said it was here? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such a place. There are so many tombs for royalty, nobody knows which tunnel leads to where. If there's a forbidden tomb, I don't know where it is. My apologies, good prince. Anything else, my prince? If you require my services, you can always find me here. Okay, so we learned nothing about the King's Valley, except that the Pharaoh and the Queen are killed. Or dead. No, they're killed. Well, let's go to the Vast Shrine, a new area in the game. See what happens over here. Boy, this is a sacred temple of Lord Haitian. It is not for the likes of you. Be gone! Man, more assholes, eh? Every time I go into some type of shrine, there's some asshole trying to stop me. But anyway, let's go to the old place where we first started off the game, and we can see the old dual ground, the old card shop, and the Pharaoh's Palace. Still the Pharaoh's Palace, not an old Pharaoh's Palace anymore, so... If it's not old, might as well go there first. There's nobody here. Everything's been destroyed. Who are you? No one's allowed here. Out! Get out! You dare to resist me? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. How the hell did you get here so quick, man? I just seen you at the Vast Shrine. Or maybe I saw your twin. Either way, now we're dueling him. He is a much easier duel than most of the Town of Domino tournament players in the later stages. Much easier than Pegasus or Isis or Kaiba. So, not a really big challenge. It should be easy. But, I just realized something. You know how the Millennium items were sucked into the blank cards that we got? Well, Pegasus has the Millennium Eye. And... He wasn't like holding it or wearing it. It was really, it was inside his eye socket. So, did I rip the Millennium Eye from his eye socket? And where's his old eye? Does he only have one eye now? Did I just like blind half of his sight by just taking his Millennium Eye now? <laughs> I don't know, man. Pegasus has some rotten luck. Also, the music you're hearing, the battle music for this particular duel. Man, you better get used to it because it is played, I think, 10 or more times in each duel that we're playing. Not the next duels. The next couple duels, we don't hear this music. We hear some familiar music back in the earlier stages of the game, but what are you going to do? It's, it's an okay track. I, I, I prefer others like the Kaiba theme or the final boss theme, which I freaking love. The, the final boss theme is so epic for its mood. It's awesome. But anyway, this isn't a hard duel, finish him off quickly. The reason we're going back into the Pharaoh's Palace is because we're going to try and find for clues that Simon Moran left behind so we can find the Forbidden Tomb. Or the Forbidden Ruins, rather, sorry. And that's why we're here in the first place, and that's probably why the guard is in the Pharaoh's Palace to protect whatever Simon Moran may have left. I'm not sure if they found it they wouldn't find it obviously it's not found it's a random piece of paper and you know yeah <laughs> you know your cards well boy i underestimated you underestimated yes this room it used to be Simon Muron's room we search and exclamation point your mark Damien discovers an ancient papyrus. It's a map of the Forbidden Ruins. To the Forbidden Ruins. Oh my god, I am screwing up everywhere today. Okay, we got a map to the Forbidden Ruins. So, 
now that we have that, we'll probably go to the King's Valley in part 7. But in the meantime, I gotta find a place to save. So let's go into the card shop. And there's nobody around, so I can't save. And that's problematic. So let's see the old dual ground and see who, if anyone's there. Nobody's here. Looks abandoned. Perfect. Oh, wait. Hey, Damien. Wow, you're alive. I never dreamed that I'd see you again, Damien. I still can't believe it. You know, I was really surprised when I first learned that you were actually a prince. It's good to see you. I never dreamed that you'd manage to get away. Damien, this place has changed since you disappeared. It's a sad situation, but the duels still go on at a nearby underground something. I can't read. It's too fast. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go. This is where we set up our new dueling grounds. Damien, the major spent days trying to find out where you might have run off to. When we said we had no idea, they destroyed our old duel grounds. That's why we met the that's why me and the card shop owner moved the dueling grounds down here. Damien, you're alive! What do you expect? Damien isn't dumb enough to be caught. You know, it's a miracle that you managed to elude them. Yeah, those guys have taken over the entire kingdom. They do as they please, control everything. They wield some kind of strange magic. Nobody can stand up to them. The way things are going, we'll have to live down here for the rest of our lives. Damien... Feel like dueling? It beats moping around just worrying about things. Mm, I don't know. Eh, eh, let's just duel Juno. I got a feeling today's my day. Alright, so now we are in the new duel grounds. And now we are facing off with Jono. Jono has a better deck this time around. Not... he He's improved, but... Not exponentially, not challenging, improve, you know what I'm saying? So, really another easy fight, uh, not even a challenge, this is... Man, I really grinded for cards for this thing, man. I, I really should have grinded less. It's, it's just, it really is too easy. Look at this, 2,000 defense. Can't go, go, can't go past me. And you know what? What's interesting is, the best cards are really not being played. It, it kind of pisses me off. First Kaiba doesn't send out his blue eyes white dragon, and now Jono isn't gonna summon his red eyes black dragon, so... Man, there's not enough dragon going on here. There's a lot of dragon in my deck, there's not enough dragon in anybody else's deck, so... That's why it's so easy. This had to be one of the easiest runs of my life, playing this game. I got rare cards without grinding that much. The best cards weren't playing played against me. Really easy, I was getting good cards on each hand, so... I don't know, I, there was Lady Luck shining on me during this Let's Play, and I don't know if I like that or not. It's good because I can get this Let's Play done with, and it, it's a fast and entertaining like process, but at the same time, it's not really real, because I've told you that this game is super hard, but I'm not really showing that it's hard because I'm getting all these good cards, so I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, Fire Wing Pegasus gets three bright castles. Because I just want to rub it into Jono's face. <laughs> yeah, when when you get good cards, you gotta you gotta rub it into the computer's face because <laughs> it's just you know that's the way it goes. They they piss you off, so you gotta piss them off back. And we got Flame Swordsman, Joey's favorite card in the Yu-Gi-Oh series. So that was pretty neat that we got that. Man, I was so sure that I was gonna win this time. Looks like I'm just gonna have to try harder. And we'll talk to someone else. What's up, Damien? Feel like a duel? Sure. J Taya has also gotten some better cards. And that is the end of this part. I'll see you in part 7 where we continue in the dueling grounds. See you later.